Hi there, and uh, a while back I picked up uh, actually one of my favorite cheesy fun sci-fi flicks, Contamination. I was really excited to get it from Blue, from uh, from Arrow, and finally have it on Blu-ray. Unfortunately, by the time that it that it came out, uh, all the really cool slipcover cases <clears throat> were already gone past. Then I got contacted by uh, by a viewer of mine by the name of Gary Watson, a great guy from the UK who offered me uh, the chance to to get uh, he had extra slips, so he. Uh, he sent it to me, so I uh, hand is still getting better. <clears throat> I have my better half like open up the uh, open it up, and she's going to she's going to hand it to me, so I can actually get to see it for the very first time. Okay, all right. So we'll read the we'll read the letter first. So hi, Aaron. Here's the contamination slip and a little something else. I hope you don't have it already. Enjoy. Regards, Gary. So send the contamination slip. So. I'm guessing it's not contamination because you know I've gotten that. <clears throat> so first off, let's look at the contamination slip. I'm kind of excited to see what's inside. Oh, anyway, uh, <laughs> so it's very shiny. So we're gonna take this off of here and find out what exactly is under this. So together, <clears throat> using the tension mount. And I don't. I'm guessing it's, it's arrow, and it's hoop. And it's Hooper. So it is. The Funhouse, which I actually do not have on Blu-ray. This is a movie that I wanted to get from man anyway, we'll get to that in a second first let's take this where it belongs and i have to say thank you mr watson i love how oh, i like saying that and being actually able to say that of all the sherlock holmes movies that i watched i can actually say that now <clears throat> elementary oh <clears throat> so again thank you gary for the giving me the contamination slip which is really really sexy i will be buying more of those slips and funhouse i did have a dvd edition of funhouse uh, <clears throat> with from Screen Factory that was actually fairly bare bones, uh, one of their early early releases. But this thing is packed. Wow, uh, I'm just looking at the special features here. So if anybody's ever wondered uh, which Funhouse to get, uh, wonder no more. Uh, look at that. See that whole side there? That whole. I'm not sure you guys can see or not. This apparently is all special features. <clears throat> so we have. Uh, Auto commentary with FX uh, uh, wizard Craig Reardon and Jeffrey Reddick, creator of the Fond Destination series on Funhouse. Uh, auto commentary with Derek Power and genre school scholar Hardis Berger on, on, the, on the film. Auto, auto commentary, there's three auto commentaries, wow. With Justin Kurzweil, author of Teenage Wasteland, host of the slasher cinema website Hysteria Lives. Oh, I love those guys. And author Colin Waddle. Uh, stuck in the Funhouse with director Toe Hooper, Carnage at the Carnival, Toe Hooper remembers the Funhouse. Miles of Mayhem, acting in Till Hooper's Funhouse with star Miles Cha Chapin, a Trilogy of Terror, The Makeup of Madness of Craig Reardon, and, F and a SFX Wizard re recollects his collaboration with Toby Hooper on Eaten Alive, Poltergeist, and Funhouse. I really need to pick up the Eaten Alive edition. Uh, Master Class of Horror, Mick Garris, the director of Sleepwalkers and The Shining, the, you know, the TV Shining, uh, reflects on the crimson covered career of his longtime colleague Tobe Hooper. I'm really looking forward to that. Live QA with Tobe Hooper from San Francisco. Have before seen f photographs from the collection of Craig Reardon. Versible sleeve with original newly commissioned artwork by Rick Melton. I like Rick Melton's work a lot. And collector's booklet featuring brand new writing on the film by critic and author Kim Newman. So this is the new artwork, which is what's the other artwork? Spe scream artwork. The shame, to be honest with you. Just look at that. Melton always have, has beautiful, like, uh, like uh, breasted women and stuff on his stuff. And his artwork. He did the, I'm sure he must have did the Inferno one. Which is the butt cover, which is what other people call it. <clears throat> and it has the ooh, the eerie, creepy looking cover for Funhouse. I'm gonna keep this one. I like the new artwork. This one kind of creeps me out a bit. So this is the new artwork, huh? This is the, the original artwork. See, yeah, she's like, ew. So I'm in the perfect timing because uh, I'm getting the new Deep Red that's coming out. I have the original, actually. As well, it has the uh, Deep Red art card here, which is pretty awesome. I love this movie. And. What I'm going to be really also excited about is uh, I love these booklets. A lot of people don't read the booklets. I read the booklets. I always do. <clears throat> Especially this one's got Kim Newman stuff in it. So there's the uh, another post you're probably familiar with for uh, for Funhouse. And oh, this is neat. Wow. Okay, I knew it was doing an unboxing of a slipcover, but I didn't know it was an unboxing of a movie as well. So I'm super stoked about this film. So. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a big Toe Hooper fan. And uh, 
a friend of mine, uh, Mark, actually from uh, Cathodre, we uh, disagreed on the validity of uh, Eaten Alive. I loved it, and he was not a big fan. <clears throat> Which is kind of cool. I always love when people differing opinions is always a cool thing. I think that spices up things. So it's got like a lot of kind of these cool, uh, what looks to be like lobby cards from Funhouse. Uh, Kim Newman does the write up, so you know it's going to be good. I always love listening to Kim Newman talk on, uh, on stuff, and he is amazing. So, wow, okay, this is super cool. Uh, <clears throat> I've been wanting the slipcover for Contamination ever since I saw they were putting out this Contamination. I think this is called an O-ring in, uh, in the UK, if I'm correct. They call them O-rings. And I have a new Blu-ray to add to my uh, Arrow collection. I'm super excited. I'm a huge fan of Arrow. I'm waiting to hear that my uh, Scarlet Box has been dispatched. And Forsyth has not yet put fingers crossed, guys. Uh, thank you so much, Gary. He, he, he's made some great... Uh, he says he watches videos, and, which is really awesome. And Are you entering the contest, Gary? You should. This is pretty cool. Uh, speaking of which, I have other prize coming up for the contest. Some, uh, some Blu-rays that I'm going to be mentioning in, a, in an upcoming video. So if you haven't... Uh, Enter the contest, or Walking Dead was not your thing, and that's not what you want to enter to get. I have some stuff that uh, that you might be interested in, maybe, sort of, hopefully. <clears throat> anyway, I keep these here. I always keep the uh, letters that I get. That's where I get the address as well. Cheshire. He's in Cheshire. Oh man. Here, <clears throat> I have longed to go to England. It's one of my biggest dreams. I want to be in England. I want to walk down streets of England. I want to go see Coronation Street. I want to see where Doctor Who was made, where the Hammer films were made. I want to have, I want to drink at an English pub. I want to have tea in England. I want to spend. So hopefully, shall we will get the chance sometime to go to England. And <clears throat> I know for sure, if we go that, that's one, that's a month block that I'm taking off work to, to, to make that trip. And uh, maybe I will see you there actually. And, wow, so I'm super excited. So, shininess, which is always good for me and my ADD personality. Ooh, shiny. <clears throat> and I love this cover. Isn't this an awesome cover? That's cool artwork. And the fun house. It actually gives away the reveal of the killer. It's like, look the killer on there. But, uh, yeah, you, uh, but if you're buying Arrow's fun house, you've probably seen the the movie before, hopefully. <clears throat> if not, well, there's a killer. It's an amazing film. It uh, deals a lot with the, uh, a lot of like references of Frankenstein all through the movie. Just watch for me. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's uh, Halloween time, so uh, you have no excuse. For me right now, it's time to, well, to add another arrow <clears throat> to my collection and a shiny cover, which I really love. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Gary. Thank you. It made my day. It really did. I've had a long work week. And this really helped me stay extra special. I can't, I can't wait to watch some features on this as well as the movie itself. I've never ever had fun with some Blu-ray. So it's going to be cool to check out. Thanks for watching, guys. For me right now, it's time for tea. I just got in the door and I haven't had tea since this morning. So the caffeine level in me is pretty low. And uh, say hello to my better half, Cat Smokey, which is not going to let her get up. And it's pretty much uh, is doing a one, two, three wrestling, you're not, you're not moving anywhere type of move. And for me right now, I am messy haired and out of here. Thanks, Gary. I really do appreciate it. Uh, this is awesome. Have a great day, guys.